I first started the painting by painting the background a bluish gray using a combination of ultramarine and titanium orange. Here you can see me apply the paint using a large hake brush. As you can see, I pipped my board to get rid of the excess water. Using a smaller hake brush, I use it to define the background a little bit more. Now you can see me start with the hair. I use a mixture of dioxazine purple and hooker's green. In the corner, I use quin magenta, quin gold, and leaf green to mix the skin color base. After wetting the entire face, I now apply the base color. Using a goat hair brush, I apply the color and using a synthetic brush, I raise the highlights. I then use a hair dryer to dry off the excess moisture. After it is done drying, I will use a goat hair brush to apply the color and use a synthetic brush to soften the edges. Here you can see me apply the color to the details. I darken the details in the eyes, the forehead, and the nose using a goat hair brush. I then use a hair dryer to dry it off. Here you can see me apply details to the nose and to the top of the mouth using a goat hair brush. I then use a synthetic brush to up soften the detail. I then go over the eyebrows, darkening it. I use a hair dryer to speed it up the process since I am working on the details. I am now mixing my colors for a second wet on wet wash. I wet the face and only the face using a size 12 squirrel hair brush. I then use my goat hair brush to add subtle details. You can barely see it but I lightened the area between the mustache and the mouth. While the paper was still wet, I continued to darken some values. Using a hairdryer, I dried off the initial wash. I then proceed to wet the entire neck and ear area to add more detail. Doing this step defined the jawline of the portrait. I then proceeded to define the shapes of the ear using a small squirrel hairbrush while it's still wet. I then dried it off with the hairdryer. I then proceeded to mix my colors using Quinn Magenta, Quinn Gold, and Hooker's Green to achieve a darker color. I then went in for a second round of details applying the color, darkening the features. I then darkened the mustache and then the jawline. I then let it dry and went to the forehead. In defining the forehead, I first went in darkening the shadows underneath the hair. Again, using the size 12 squirrel hairbrush, I then apply color and further define the jawline. Using a hairdryer, I let it all dry again. I mix my color to further deepen the details. Using my small hake brush, I then proceeded to wet the face and the neck and the ear to deepen the details. Here you can see me defining the structure of the ear. Using a hair dryer, I let it all dry again. I then proceeded to define the mouth using my dark color and a little bit of coin magenta. Generally, the upper lip is darker than the lower lip. I then add my darks by mixing hooker's green and dioxazine purple. I added my darks to the inner part of the mouth, the nostrils, and the eyebrows, and the inner part of the ear. I then proceeded to work on the right eye using my dark, and now the left eye. Now all that's missing is hair. My process for hair is different. 
I first start with the background, assessing which parts do I keep gray and which parts do I add brown. Once the background is fully wet, I then work on the hair. I first do the background so I could achieve a fuzzy feeling to the hair. I then, went, I then go in with a synthetic brush to clean the edges. Now I add his shirt. Using my small brush, I keep adjusting the details. Using my goat hair brush, I adjust the hair. Finally, to give this rough texture, I drag my brush on the shirt and on the hair. 